The human body has a lot of organs which are made by different types of cells. To make those cells active and functional, we need to constantly provide energy to them. The main way we provide energy to our organ cells every day is through glucose. It is a simple sugar which only contains one sugar molecule. Glucose is the main type of sugar in the blood and is the major source of energy for the body's cells. We consume a lot of foods every day, and they will be converted to glucose which will be delivered to organ cells via the bloodstream. After glucose is delivered to the body cells, if the oxygen is available, the glucose will be broken down to carbon dioxide, water and the energy in the form of ATP which will be used for body cells for their activities. That is the purpose of cellular respiration. We need to inhale oxygen which will be used to convert glucose to ATP energy for body cells. In this process, carbon dioxide and water is the generated waste and then will be removed from the body. Usually, several hormones such as insulin will be responsible for maintaining the glucose to a certain level. Sometimes, we may consume more food than the one required for our body cells. If that is the case, the high level of glucose signals the pancreas to produce more insulin to help the body cells take up glucose from the bloodstream for energy. At the same time, insulin also helps the liver and muscle cells to produce an enzyme called glycogen synthase. This enzyme can help link glucose together into a chain, which is similar to the structure of polysaccharides. Then the glycogen molecules can be stored in the liver and muscles. When energy is required by the body, and we cannot take adequate energy from food, glycogen will then be broken down to glucose again, and then is released into the bloodstream. Generally, the glycogen in muscle cells only provides glucose for muscles, and the glucose derived from liver glycogen will be responsible for providing energy for other body cells. In summary, glucose is the essential source of energy for our body cells. The normal range for a healthy person before eating is 90 to 130 mg per deciliter. Maintaining glucose levels in the normal range is important for our health, and we should pay special attention to it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.